the role of the board is evolving. We're going to spend a little bit of time on this. These are the, the ongoing trends in board governance. So it's now taking that original definition, that really narrow definition, and expanding it out quite significantly. So we know that boards are responsible for culture. That's old news. Demonstrating and being role models for the mission, vision, and core values of the organization. Nothing new there. Here's what's different. High-performing boards with an, evol an evolving role are interested in finding alternative points of view and non-traditional points of view in the boardroom. They're focused on continuous improvement for their own performance as well as the performance of the organization, and they are not afraid to get bad news. Stakeholder constituencies, community, and society. If you remember the traditional definition, talked about shareholders. That has expanded to stakeholders. It's not enough only to be thinking about those people who are invested in your company. There's corporate responsibilities for the community and for society. YPO has that stated in its objective, making sure that there is a good impact in the community. Lawrence Fink, Lawrence Fink, who is the CEO of BlackRock, said, to prosper over time, every company must not only deliver financial performance, but also show how it makes a positive contribution to society. Without a sense of purpose, no company, public or private, can achieve its full potential. So where is your company and where is your board in leading and supporting and demonstrating corporate social responsibility? Again, that goes back to the culture. 